One of the main functions of the MBN Atlas is to display species records on an interactive map. From the MBN Atlas homepage, navigate to the overview page of your species of choice. Watch the video on viewing basic species information for guidance. From the species overview page, click view map under the distribution map on the right. This is the interactive map on the occurrence records page. Scroll down to see the full map. By default, the records on the map will be displayed as 100km grid squares. To change the appearance of records on the map, select an option from the Colour By menu at the top of the map. The bottom set of options will display records as points rather than grid squares. These points can be coloured according to different criteria. In this example they are coloured according to the dataset they belong to. When such an option is selected, the legend will appear to let you know what the colours represent. You can use the tick boxes on the left of the legend to stop specific sets of records from appearing. Click the X in the top right of the legend to minimise it. and click the list icon in the top right to make it reappear. The size, opacity and outline of points displayed on the map can be altered using the options at the top of the map. Use the plus and minus symbols in the top left of the map to zoom in and out. To search for records in a drawn area, use the symbols below these to draw an area on the map. The bottom option allows you to draw a circular search area. Click where you would like the centre of the circle to be and drag outwards to enlarge it. The middle option allows you to draw a rectangular search area. Click and drag to make the rectangle the desired size. The top option allows you to draw a custom polygon. Clicking repeatedly on the map will define the corners of the polygon. Double click to finish defining the polygon search area. Click the button below to edit your search area. Change the shape or size of your area as desired. And click save to keep the changes. Click the bin icon below that to delete any areas you wish to remove. Again and click save to finish deleting the area. Clicking on a point or grid square on the map will give a summary of all records displayed at that point. Click previous and next to scroll through the records at a point. To learn more about a specific record, click View Record or click View All to access a list of all records at that point. On the left of the screen, you will find a list of filters which can be used to restrict the displayed records according to different criteria. 
For instance, if we click the January filter in the month category, only records from January will be displayed. Please note that each time a filter is applied or removed, the display options for the map will reset. To change the filters that are available, click Customize Filters in the top left. Click the tick boxes of all filters you want to access. By clicking this box, we can add a filter for Data Provider. Click Update to add your new filter. The Data Provider filter will now be accessible from the filter list on the left. We can now, for instance, choose to see only records submitted from the Scottish Wildlife Trust. All currently active filters are listed in the top left, where they can also be removed by unticking the boxes by each filter or clicking Clear All. In this example, the map is now only displaying records made in January that were submitted by the Scottish Wildlife Trust. This has covered the main functions of the interactive map. To perform more sophisticated map-based functions, please watch our videos on the Spatial Portal.